I don't know what this is, but I just felt like doing it. So how is everybody doing? It is Monday, April 29th, 2015. And it's my hope and my prayer that everybody is living their best lives. And if you're not living your best life, you better start living it right now. Yes, your favorite accountability coach, Marlia Brian Hall says, start living your best life right now. Like, why not? Seize the moment. Be great. Create something. Do something different. Love yourself more. This is the time. This is the time. Hey, Sherlanda, how are you doing? Hey, Teacher Jeff, how are you? Hey, Tisha, how are you? How are you guys? I'm so glad that you all are tuning in. And if you want to invite any friends, guys, we're just going to be praying for peace. And before we pray for peace, I'm going to share with you guys something that I have shared with some of my prayer kit users, um, something that I believe is a great way for all of us to just interpret the word and apply the word to our lives. This is what I live by. This is how I'm able to just keep God's peace in all situations and not worry and not stress and not be anxious. Quick testimony, guys. I used to be a very anxious person. I used to actually be so anxious that I was having panic attacks while driving. I don't know if that's happened to anyone, but complete, like, lose control, lose my mind. I was just gone. I was gone. I had no control over my thoughts. I was, yeah, having panic attacks while driving. So that's how bad it got for me, and I am now completely delivered of all anxiety, all worry, I, I don't really get too crazy in the head about anything. I have total faith and belief in God, and it's because I believe his word. But not only is it because I believe his word, I actually um, quote his scriptures and apply his word to my life. So I just want to say thank you, everybody, for tuning in tonight. We are going to get our peace, and um, I believe that everything that God says in his word is real and is true, and anything that he says, you can hold him accountable to it, and you can apply it to your life, all right? So for a brief moment before we get started in prayer, okay, no, I feel like the Lord is just telling me to pray now. So we are going to pray now, and then I'll tell you, I'll share with you guys how I um, receive God's word in my life and how he just continues to show up. All right, God, I just thank you. God, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Lord, I cannot thank you enough for just being God, for being my father, for being um, my daddy and just loving me enough to send your son, Lord God. But not only did you love me, Lord God, you loved every single woman that is going to be on this live video. Lord God, you created her. Lord, every single detail and how she looks, Lord God, how her voice sounds, all of her gifts and her talents, her dreams and her desires, Lord God, these are all things that were part of your plan and your purpose for her life, Lord God. It is my hope and my prayer right now that every single woman that is tuning into this live video will know you as the Prince of Peace in every one of her situations, Lord God. I know as women, it is very easy to worry or to become anxious about things that we cannot control, Lord God. And it's just my hope and my prayer that all of your daughters tonight will learn to just release it all unto you, Lord God. In your word, you tell us to cast our burdens onto you, Lord. So I just ask right now in the mighty name of Jesus that every single woman that just has a burden, every single woman that has something that she is carrying that is way too heavy for her, a woman that is struggling with doubts in her mind about the future successes that she will have, Lord God, for any of your daughters that are currently just struggling in fear when it comes to finances, Lord God, when it comes to provision for their household, Lord God, when it comes to jobs and increase, Father God, or even just having tough conversations with people that they love or people that they need to get rid of, Lord God. I know it because that was my life, Lord God. I used to stress about finances, Lord. I was stressing about um, my ex, Father God, my husband's ex. You know all of the things that made me so crazy and so nutty and just so fearful, Lord God. But I know you as a healer, Lord God. I know you as a deliverer, Lord God. I know you as a provider, Lord God, and a, a father that always takes care of his kids. No matter what we do to you, Lord God, you are always there. Lord God, so I just thank you, Father God, for being the peace that your daughters need tonight, Lord God. Lord God, I thank you, Father God, for all of the women that have struggled at night, Lord God, because they're always processing and just thinking things, Lord God, and thinking of all the possibilities and the worst thing that could happen, Lord God. May you allow them to just have peace 
and resting your goodness, knowing that it all does work out for their good. Lord God, that there's not a situation right now that is going on your on in their life, Lord God, that you are not trying to bless them in, that you're not trying to excel them in, that you're not trying to take them to another level in you, Lord God, another level of purpose, another level of glory, Lord God, another level of faith. Lord God, every single situation that is wearing and tearing on the minds of your daughter is something that you've already solved. It's something that you have a direct solution to, Lord God, and you are the key, Lord God. You are the key to their success in this situation, Lord God. So it's just my hope and my prayer that every single one of your daughters will surrender, Lord God. Allow them to surrender it all right now, saying, Daddy, I cannot hold this. Lord, it is too heavy. It is too hard. If you don't make a way, I'm not going to make it. I need you, Lord God. Give me your peace. Lord God, let me know that I'm going to make it through. Let me know that I'm not going to die in here. Let me know that you love me because right now it does not feel like love. Right now it hurts. Lord God, right now I don't see any way out. It's darkness all around, Lord God, but I'm saying I'm going to trust you. I'm going to stand on your word. I'm going to do what you told me to do, Lord God, and I am believing that you will lead me to the promise, Lord God, and I receive your peace. Lord God, I thank you for every one of your daughters that is receiving your peace right now. Lord God, that they don't know how they're going to make it to next month, Lord God, but they believe that you are going to see them through, Lord God. Let them receive your peace, Lord, that they have some really difficult situations that they need to make right now, like within the next 24 hours, Lord God. They need to act on things immediately, Lord God. Allow them to have your peace in the direction that they should go. You told us, Lord God, that if we trust you, Lord, if your babies, if your daughters, if we trust you and we lean not on our own understanding, if we say, God, we don't understand it all, the things in our mind are crazy, we don't know, Lord God, but if we seek you, you will direct our path, Lord God. So I thank you, Father God, for the peace that they will find because you are the one who's in control, Lord God. You're the one who you told us to depend on. And all of your daughters are deciding tonight that they are going to depend on you. They're going to trust you, Lord God, and you will fulfill the plan in their life, Lord God. I thank you for the peace, Lord God. Lord God, I thank you for every single daughter right now, wherever she is, that she's just able to receive the peace, Lord God. May she be able to verbalize it and tell the enemy that she's not afraid to use her words, Lord God, that she's ready to combat him in the spirit and in the natural, Lord God. And I ask that all of your daughters will say, I have peace. I receive your peace in this situation, Lord God. Apply your peace, apply your blood, apply your power and your strength, Lord God. I have your peace. I have a peace that surpasses all understanding. When my mama and my friends and my daddy and my cousins and everybody said I should be crazy, Lord God, it was your peace that saw me through. Lord God, when I should have been sad and depressed, it was your peace that had me wake up, work this job, love this baby, love this man, serve this church. It was your peace. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. 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 Lord God, peace is a given. We are your daughters, Lord God. We are daughters of the most high king. There is no other God before you, Lord God. We're not chasing these idols. We're not worshiping these idols. We are surrendering it all to you. And I thank you for being the prince of peace that your word says that you will be, Lord God. Allow all of your daughters right now to cling to the hope, to cling to the peace that surpasses all understanding, Lord God, and allow them not to let it go. It's your peace that you give to us, not like the world gives it, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, that the girls, your girls, will know the difference. Bless them right now, Lord God. Bless them, bless them, bless them, bless them. Love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. Um, I thank you in advance, Lord God, for you just forgiving us, Lord God, and giving us the peace that we need, Lord God, to really make it through and um, be led to um, victory. In Jesus' name, Lord God, you are just so good, and I praise you in advance for it all. May your will be done and nothing less. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Guys, thank you so very much for praying with me. Um, it is my hope and my prayer that you all will uh, receive God's peace because it's, it's nothing like it. It's nothing like it. Uh, I won't share this right now. I won't share this right now. I don't think this is appropriate um, time and space to share it, share it. But I want y'all to know that your girl is fighting a lot of battles in the background. Battles that you guys have no idea I am fighting. You don't know it. 
because of God's peace. God's peace allows me to pray for y'all, be here for y'all, take care of my children, my man, love people, not spread hate, shine his light because of his peace. The enemy would have Marlia super crazy and super worried and super stressed out. The enemy wants me to completely shut down my social media and just worry about the things I got going on in the background. But it's God's peace and his strength and his blood that allows me to walk in victory every day to no longer claim depression, to no longer claim anxiety or worry. I don't know what those things are because I have his peace. And his peace is not only um, accessible to me, but it's accessible to all of his children. If you say that Jesus Christ of Nazareth who came in the flesh is your daddy, that means you have access to unlimited peace. You guys could be in the most Job-like situation, lose your entire family, lose all of your money, be on the street somewhere with no clothes on in the middle of winter in Cleveland and still have peace. A peace that surpasses all understanding. Nobody will understand how you have peace, but it's God. So what I want to do, guys, real quick, this is something that I share with my prayer kit users. Um, and this is something that I do in my own life. This is how I generate God's blessings and promises in my life. And um, I believe in it. I believe when his word says that our, our words have the power to speak life and death. And um, there's blessing and cursing and all of that right here in this mouth. I've, I've realized and I know and believe that our mouths are weapons, guys. And we can declare victory as well as declare defeat in our lives. So when we say certain things like, I can't figure this out and I'm never going to make it and so-and-so is just getting on my nerves and oh, I hate my life and all that, that's what you're going to continue to see. That's what you're going to continue to experience until you rewrite your script. And how we rewrite our script is with the things that we meditate on, the things that we repeat on a daily basis. There's nothing more powerful in this entire world than God's blood, God himself, and his word, okay? So I just want to share with you guys just a brief scripture that you can take home and practice with the tools that I provide and bring this into your own life if you want to um, um, create more peace in your life. So it's John 14, John 14, 25 says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. I said that really weird, so I'm going to read that again. John 14, 27, guys. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So for you guys who are trying to really manifest God's peace in your life, um, to bring the fullness of this promise, because the word, like once you tell God what his word says, he can't come back and be like, oh, I can't do that. Like God has to, like he has to obey his word. It sounds crazy. I know it's super weird. People don't talk about it a lot, but God has to obey his word. He has to. If he says he's going to do it, he just, he has to. So just hold him to it. But how I actually do this in my own private time, when y'all see me waking up at 4.45 in the morning, I'm doing this stuff. And this is what I'm going to share with you guys. So something I would suggest you guys do in your own private time is you would take a scripture like John 14, 27, when it says, peace, I leave with you. You would just simply just be in your quiet time and say, God, you said in your word, peace, you leave with me. God, that means I have your peace. And honestly, I would stop right there because this is how this is how heavy this could be, depending on the season of your life, that those few words, um, peace, I leave with you. That means that it's something that God has given to you. That's something that he's he's already handled his business. He didn't been on to the next one and he's left that peace with you. So it's right there, right in the midst, right where you are. If you're in your car right now, if you're at work, if you're at your house, your his peace is right there. And you need to claim that peace. And in claiming his peace, there's a few things that I would do. I would suggest that you guys do as well. Um, I would say, God, you've left me my, your peace. God, I have your peace. God, I have your peace. Now, I'm closing my eyes because I pray most of the time with my eyes closed. 
um, not always, but I pray with my eyes closed. And in that moment of you saying, God, I have your peace. This is you affirming the word over your life. I want you to actually see yourself having his peace. For example, I'll give you an example that I didn't have peace in my life. Um, a situation where I didn't have peace. I used to get really, really anxious and super sweaty and like feel sick to my stomach when I would have to have an exchange with my ex, when I would have to bring the boys to them, him. And the reason I would, he used to make me nervous. He used to get a little bit aggressive and um, I, I used to just be sweaty. I used to, I used to be a nervous wreck some, at, at one time in my life. So in this situation, I would apply just the beginning of the scripture, the peace I leave with you, God, you've left me with your peace. I have your peace. And this would be me preparing to go do an exchange with my ex and take the voice to him. So I would actually see myself, God, I have your peace. And I would actually see myself driving down the street, headed towards the direction, me not sweating, God, I have your peace. Maybe I'm listening to the radio and listening to one of my favorite songs. God, I have your peace. And I would literally just watch myself do the entire motion, you know, roll down my window, hop out the car, whatever it is, while continuing to say, I have your peace. I have a peace that surpasses all understanding. God, you are present. You have left me with your peace. Your peace is in my vehicle as I travel to drop off the boys. Your peace is with me as I step out of the car. And all while I'm saying this, I'm seeing it, guys. This is all about reprogramming our belief systems and we we have to allow ourselves to see and fully experience his word as my mom always says you're not going to believe something until you experience it so you have to experience your affirmations it's more than just these dead numb words you actually have to put feeling in it and i won't go through the whole thing with you guys but um this is what i do in my private time when i wake up at 4 45 in the morning when i'm trying to take myself out of a poverty mindset to a wealth mindset when i'm trying to turn myself from a nagging wife to a very humble and submissive wife when i'm trying to love my enemies and bless them and not curse them these are the things i'm doing i'm literally saying what the word is saying and then i'm seeing myself already receiving the blessing of that promise fulfilled so you guys can do this in your own spare time with this one verse um, that's John 14, 27, peace I leave with you. You tell God, this is what you're doing, God. You've left me with your peace. I have your peace. The next one is my peace you give to me. My peace I give to you. God, you've given me your peace. He's already saying this. I have it. I have it. You can continue to say, I have it. I have it. And see yourself paying this bill. I have your peace. See yourself texting somebody, or I mean, I, I, I did this. This ain't no texting. Who's texting like this, Lord? I'm emailing somebody. I have your peace. See yourself um, submitting the job resignation. I have your peace. See yourself telling your romantic partner something that you might be afraid to reveal. I have your peace. Seeing yourself um, have a conversation with your children that might be really uncomfortable. I have your peace. I have your peace. Just continue to tell God that you have... Um, his peace. Also, he says, I do not give as the world gives. So that means that if you have been living in some false peace, which might be an alcoholic beverage, a blunt, watching movies, going shopping, whatever that is, that's just temporary peace. That's peace that only lasts as long as the high lasts or as long as the experience lasts. You know, sex, there's lots of things that can give us all temporary peace. But God's peace is the kind when you're completely sober and you have no friends and you're in a room with no windows. And you're like, it's all good. It's all good. That's the type of peace everybody should have. No worries. No worries. Um, and then the last part, even though I said I wasn't going to really go into this, and do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So for anyone whose peace is leading them, the lack of peace is leading them to fear, I would definitely use that last part and um, say, my heart is not troubled. And if it is a situation that's troubling your heart, see yourself and say it until you see it. Y'all know I say it's I said the same thing 76 times in one day. Y'all know I'm weird. I'm weird, but I got God's peace. Um, but you would say, my heart is not troubled. My heart is not troubled. So see yourself maybe, you know, maybe your child is in trouble and your child is going through a really difficult situation and you see them going to the principal's office or whoever they might need to talk to. And you just say, my heart is not troubled. God, you said in your word for my heart not to be troubled. And right now I'm receiving that my heart is not troubled. 
I trust you completely with my child. I trust you completely with my finances. I trust you completely with this repossession. Lord God, I trust you completely with this job loss. My heart is not troubled. And it says, do not be afraid. And that's a simple one. I'm not afraid. So that means that you're going to see yourself being super brave in those situations that have made you fearful and see yourself coming out of it in complete victory. So that's all, y'all. I did not know it was going to go this way tonight, um, but God just told me to share. So I just got to be obedient and hopes that somebody else would just go get this piece because um, Marlia definitely shouldn't. I shouldn't even be able to talk to y'all. The stuff that's going on in the background, I'll probably write a really good book on it one day um, and just let just let people know what the real is and how Jesus is real. Because when y'all done hearing my whole testimony, folks going to believe in Jesus. I tell you that much. Like, girl, I ain't even know. Nope, you didn't. You had no idea. You had no idea. Hey, Tisha girl, how you doing? Hey, Crystal, how are you? Hey, Ellery, hey, Carmen. You stand in agreement, Carmen. I appreciate that in Jesus' name. Amen, Crystal. You needed that tonight. You got a whole lot of work to do, Crystal. So I pray that you receive all of God's peace because uh, the enemy going to try his best to stop you from your mission, but God is going to be successful. So you need to trust that for real. Um, You said, yes, I'm not claiming it anymore. No more depression, only peace. We got to watch our words. We really do. Like all of these words that we say, I mean, it's cute and they're real, but mm -mm. let's speak more. As many times as you've told somebody you were sad and down, you need to say, I'm happy. I'm joyous. I'm peaceful. I I feel loved by God. I'm prospering. I'm wealthy. We need to, that's all we need to be saying. No more quoting anybody's lyrics. Quote the Bible. Hey, Stacy, how are you doing? Hey, Rihanna girl, how are you? Stacy said, yes, God, I needed to hear this. This is more confirmation that I'm doing right. I praise God that you are doing right, Stacy. And I'm so excited for you to share with the world your testimony. I feel like in 2009, I mean, 2020, you won't have a whole lot to share, like crazy victory. And I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, keep fighting for it. Hey, Carly, how are you doing? Uh, over here on Instagram. Hey, Deja, how are you doing, beautiful? Hey, Jess, Beth, how are you doing? Hey, Flossie and I. Hey, Anissa. Hey, Sophia. How are you? Hey, Miss Chris. Oh, that is what I do. Hey, Miss Chris. Let's see. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Oh, hey, Sherlanda, how are you? Amen. 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 Speak to me, Lord Jesus. Let him speak to you. Please, please, please. Um, Flossie NY says, I have peace. I receive his peace. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Teacher Jeff. Amen. I'm um, Sherlina said, thank you, Jesus. I received your gift of peace. There you go. Guys, I got a lot of amens over here. God is good. What's good, T? How are you doing? Um, Anissa said, I rebuke the attack of the enemy on my Leah right now. Oh, I appreciate that. Don't even get me crying, Anissa. You know I'm a big old cry baby. I, I appreciate Y'all be praying for your girl because the enemy not playing. He's not, but he also knows what I, he, I think, I don't know what the enemy knows, but I think he has a glimpse of knowing that Marlia, as well as all of y'all were created with a plan and a purpose and so much of these like distractions that come up in our lives kind of keep us from the plan and the purpose. And some of us can go so far into these distractions like me, my first year of marriage, I was doing so much trying to get out of this crazy anxiety that his ex-wife was calling me, trying not to, you know, read her emails and her threats and all those, all those crazy things. You know, like I was really trying to just stay at peace and not be fearful of like our finances and just crazy stuff all the time that I wasn't even doing what I needed to do. Like it was so many things that God was telling me to birth in 2017 and 2016 that I didn't because I was too busy being fearful and being worried about stuff, you know, but God is good. His mission still going to be fulfilled. Loving me freely coming out, women coming, getting free. Nobody, women going to come out of their shame and their insecurities. Ladies are leaving these no good men. Women are being delivered from dep- depression and all sorts of bad habits. Like we're loving ourselves freely, devil, just so you know, these ladies won't be in any captivity or any bondage. And once they get free, they got a couple million coming behind them and generations and legacy and just dump. Y'all know, y'all know, I'm a fight till I die. Shoo, shoo. Y'all thought Nissy was a thug. It's a, it's a couple female, female thugs out here that's uh, going hard in the pain for their Lord and Savior. And um, yeah, we not just talking game. We're, we're in our word. We're fasting. We're praying. I'm about to go on a fast. I'm about to go on a fast. I'm going to need to. I was on a fast in the beginning of April. I'm going to have to make. I just want to get into June. Super right. 
super right and super strong and not give up. You know, what, what's the scripture? Don't grow weary and well doing because in due season you will reap a harvest if you don't faint. And the only reason that scripture is in the word is because God knows that we can all just grow so weary. And the work that we're doing and the providing for the, our kids and supporting our friends and loving our men and looking out for our parents and being there for our siblings and working these jobs and trying to start business. Like God knows that in all that good we're doing, we can grow really, really weary. But he says that if we do not faint, y'all, we will reap a harvest. So I hope y'all ready for all the harvests. People are reaping harvests of new homes. People are reaping harvests of marriages, successful marriages. Um, people are reaping, reaping harvests of just total healing in their minds, in their bodies, in their spirit. People are reaping harvests of businesses in abundance. Like harvests come in all sorts of levels. People are getting connected with family members that they never talked to. I mean, that they stopped talking to. Breakthroughs are happening in the lives of children. Like harvests come in so many different um, shapes and forms and just know that if y'all don't give up if y'all just keep on fighting again keep on telling the devil open up this word y'all like this word this word is crazy man it's literally my prayer life in this word are ha what sustains me it is because stuff be crazy in marlia's life but that don't keep me from growing that don't keep me from shining God's light because God is everything. Oh, my goodness. I thought this thing had froze. I'm so sorry. I thought it was done. Um, Brittany said healing for those going through loss. Someone I know uh, lost her husband suddenly. Up to, oh, my goodness. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Lord God. God, God, God. And I just want to pray for her. I don't even know who she is. I'm real quick, Father God. But you know her. Lord God, you created her. You love her. Lord God. And um. Unfortunately, Father God, this was something that took her by surprise. God, and probably took everyone that knew him by surprise. Lord God, I just pray that you will be exactly who your word says that you'll be. Lord God, outside of being a prince of peace, you said that you comfort those who mourn. And to lose a husband, to lose the love of your life is something that I cannot imagine. Lord God, I just pray that you will be that comforter. Lord God, that you will be able to just rest at night. Lord God, that she will be able to connect with some type of crazy peace. Lord God, knowing that the time that she had with him was well served. Lord God, and that he was loved and that she was loved. And that it's my hope and my prayer that he is just with you, Lord God, and just feeling all the benefits of being a son of the Most High King, Lord God. But I do pray that you will just comfort her and anybody else that has been affected by um, his loss, Lord God, and give them a peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord God, I thank you for doing this because I know that you can and I know that you will. So just show up for your daughter today. Lord God, um, I praise you in advance in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for sharing that with me, Brittany. That makes me so sad. That makes me so sad. Like being on the end of actually being loved by the person that God created me to be loved by, like that stuff hits hard. Like I could not imagine, but it's going to happen one day. One day he going to go or one day we go, I'm going to go and we just going to have to live with it. And God's peace will carry us. All right. There's no situation. There's no loss. There's um, there's just nothing that can separate you from God's peace. Even though things are hard, guys, I just want y'all to know y'all not dying where y'all are. Y'all not dying. Y'all not giving up. Your testimony does not end here. Sis, I need you to push through. If you got to wake up earlier in the morning just to say the same scripture over and over again, meditate day in, day out, get you some affirmations, get a prayer partner, get a prayer kit, something. But the enemy is not taking up. He's not killing and destroying and stealing up in our lives. We getting it all back. We are recovering all. As my sister Rosemarie Bay says, she believes in the God of recovery and he recovers all. There is no lack. There is no love. I'm like, that's my daddy too. Yes, yes, yes. We recovering all. So anything that the enemy tried to um, take from you guys, go back and get it. Fight fight with your word and put him in his place because he's just so jealous. He just, he just a jealous little devil. He just wished that he can go to heaven with you guys, but he's not going to be able to do it. So, so in this life, we got to show him who's boss and that's our God. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful evening. If anybody needs anything in addition, please hit me up in my DMs. I got about an hour and a half left to work and then I will be going to bed so that I can be up early getting my mind and my spirit right. 
Um, I love you all so very much. And if y'all don't know, if anybody feels like they are not loved, Marlia loves you. I don't care what you did. I don't care who you killed. I don't care what your sins look like, your closet look like. I don't care about none of that stuff. God has called us all to love and accept with no judgment. And uh, whatever bondage you might be in, there is freedom in Christ Jesus. He the truth. He the truth. I'm repping him all day, every day, until I see him. Like, hey, we did it. We did it. Ah, ah. All right. I'm crazy sometimes. I love y'all for real. I got to go. Anissa says yes. And we're going to be booked and busy. We're going to be booked and busy walking in our purpose, making money, doing the things that we was created to do. All of our gifts and talents is coming out. Uh, 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 uh. All right, I'm done for real because I don't know. It's getting late and I start cutting up real bad. And I don't know if y'all ready for all of that. So good night, guys. Blessings and peace to you all. And please go claim your peace tonight. Thank you so very much. Good night. <laughs>